All right, welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2, and we are back with some more side missions. This is all going to be side missions. So this is the part two, I'm pretty sure, of the uh, Marco Dragic mission. Whereabouts is it? Where's the Marco Dragic one? There we go, there we go, that's it. So, Dragic needs help placing conductors, which I've already done, in the electrical fields around his laboratory, so he can power his greatest invention to date, which is the robot. So, we're going to go and see what's happened inside, because of, um, obviously you can go back here, and you can actually get a trophy involving Marco Dragic, so it's like his whole fate uh, in which you can get. So we're going to go and see him. I think I did the first part with Arthur. So now I'm doing it with John. And this whole video is going to be doing side missions and stuff. So yeah, let's go and see, let's go and see Marco Dragic. Professor. Where is your creation now? <laughs> His creation killed him. Oh my god, yeah, we got the trophy, Artificial Intelligence. Have we got a new gun? Wait, is that a gun? Oh no, we got the, um... What the hell am I doing now? Pick up that. Oh, we got the conductor. That's kind of cool. It's dead, oh my god. Oh, we got a machete as well. That's kind of cool. Why did I just put the conductor? Oh, it's there we go. Electrical um, lantern, okay. So there we go, guys. He's dead. His robot killed him. And now we're going to have to go and look for it. Oh my god. So yeah, he kept it up. He kept it chained in here. Or locked in here. And uh, I guess we're going to go and have to find it. Is there any like clues or anything? Or will it show like on the map? Um, I don't think so. I'm just gonna have to look, um, I'm gonna have to research and try and find whereabouts it is. Cause obviously this'll, uh, this'll show me the way. But, I don't know whereabouts on the map do I, so. Right, I'm gonna just see you guys there, so yeah, let's go and find the robot. Alright, so I've made it to the location where the robot has actually gone. So it's around this area, so it's somewhere on this mountain. So what I've heard is that you should go around, not to up because you'll never get up there. Um, so it's quite far, so it's more to the uh, west side of the map which is up the corner um, so this is where you start up here so you start here go to Dovan Hill and then you have to go all the way from here all the way over <laughs> to this side so I don't I don't know how this robot's trekked all that way without anyone seeing or doing anything maybe they might have I don't know but what I did was I just got a stage coach next to Annersburg or in As Annersburg should I say and I went all the way to Valentine and then I just rode my horse red my horse from Valentine straight up to this location so we're gonna try and find a way up this mountain and then we'll see so yeah we're never gonna be able to get up there so we're gonna have to go around but we can use the um, the lantern that's the right lantern electrical lantern and it will glow uh, bright orange if you're getting close or light orange if you're not really close at all so we need to head all the way around so can we get up this bit? I think we can yes yeah, so I researched it and um, yeah it should be up here right let's have a look so, oh it's orange, uh, dark orange okay. That's good, that's good. Well, 
Well, let's get up here. Oh yeah, here look. The, the footprints, nice. So if I shine it away, as you can tell, it's not in that direction. Well, let's have a look. Whereabouts is it? Keeps going up, okay. Oh, I found him! Oh my god! I found the robot, the killing robot machine that the scientist invented. Oh my god. Oh, this is crazy. Is it good? Can I talk to it at all? This is so cool. How do I communicate? Can I? Can I communicate? I think it's dying, to be honest. This is so cool. And you wouldn't expect any of this in them days. Let's try and shoot the machine. Let's have one gun out. Is it dead? Is it is it full on destroyed? No longer works, no longer active. And there we go guys. That is so cool and smart. What if we can we blow it up at all? I can't even blow it up. Uh, maybe I've just fell off the mountain, but yeah, that's the location, guys. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I've just fell off the mountain. Um, so yeah, that's the location right there. Ah, oh, I, I don't know. I don't think you could have looted it, but oh well. No, of course you wouldn't. But um, yeah, I'm about to fall to my death, so this is the location. The location before I die. Right here, and uh, we're gonna be move on to the next side mission. <laughs> And uh, yeah, let's go. Alright, so the next mission, we're gonna go and help the mayor of Saint Denis. So let me just rent a room so I can go there at dark. How do you do? How do you do? Excuse me. <laughs> Uh, can I sleep please? Rent a room. I'm there we go. <laughs> That's n barely any money compared to what I've got. One dollar. I could rent... L I could buy this place. Easily buy this place. Alright. Let's go and sleep until night time. And maybe wear something different. Right. Here we are. Well, this is a nice room. Change clothing. Let me just change my clothes at the minute. Um, let's have a look. Oh, we can wear all this, all the stuff that Arthur used to wear. Why did this? Oh, I never slept. Oh, that's because I never, I've never created any with John. I might swear that and add on a different hat. So we'll have no hat. There we go. Right, we'll swear that for now and then we'll go to sleep. How do I go to sleep? I think I've got to go around the other side. Here we go. No, sleep. There we go. Sleep! There we go. <laughs> uh, so we need to sleep till night time to that. So we got six hours to sleep, so that's all good. We get a nice little sleep. There we go.
And then we'll go and see what the mayor wants. Alright. Is it going to show on the map? Uh, is that it? Uh, I think that's it. Is that it? I don't know. Let me just have a look. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. There we go. Alright, let's go and see him then. It's a nice place, this as well. Really nice place. Thank you guys. Would you like me to join you? Oh, hey there, miss. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's go. Come on, Rachel, let's go. Alright, calm down, John, calm down. I feel to do the exact same. But it's okay. San Denis is a nice place, I like it. What's happening over there? Here we are. Right, let's go and see the mayor. See what he wants. We've got no more gears. Did we take them out? I forgot if we took them out. Oh, I'm gonna have to go around the other side. And then Mr. Mayor, where are you? I did get in there, but they were a they were a door there. Oh well there, no they weren't. How did we get in? Go around the back entrance, I think there's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Right, here we go. Yep. Alright, let's go and see him. I think we did the first bit with jo uh, with Arthur, I think, I forgot. But we can continue with John. Uh, who are you? Found this old letter. The mayor sent it to a friend of mine, Mr. Kilgore. I'm here seeing if I can be of any help. Alright. Wait here. Okay. Follow me. Uh, hello, hello. John Marston. Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of uh, dirty-minded pragmatists like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, a man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. <laughs> but the rich can be so very self-absorbed. How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you. But it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh. <laughs> Against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man. Oh. And he's, he's a newspaper man. On a coach. Heading to his country estate because he doesn't like your heavy handed approach. <laughs> And he's gonna really hate my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Oh, it'd be so nice if we could add that for us as well. He has a red coach. I have a room if I ever wanted so to stay in Sandini. Alright, farewell. Alright, let's go and do the mission then. So go to the Sandini exit near the bayou. Bayou? Alright, so it's right there. We'll just put a mark around just so we can know uh, exactly how to get there. Even though it's not too far, but... Alright, let's go. <coughs> Come 
Come on, Rachel. Hello. Alright, let's go. Let's go, girl. I don't know how many more missions we've got for Henry. For the mayor. But we'll do them all in this video. We did The first one we did was the end of the robot mission with the scientist being killed by his own creation. But it were a fun mission. Got a trophy. Right, board the stagecoach, okay. Let me just see if the volume's to the top. I don't know if it is. I might have changed it sometime. Did I? No, I didn't. Dialogue, balance. We'll have that to the top. I don't know if that's if it were loud enough. We'll see if it's alright now. So we need to board it. Yeah, we need to jump, maybe. Stop the coach! Who the heck are you? Hold it right there. You're getting an extra passenger. All right, let's get on. Hey! Hey! I just told you to stop. I thought you were gonna let me on. You Come okay, on, girl. Let's go. Ah! I thought you were gonna stop. I'm gonna have to like leave my horse in front of him maybe if it'll stay. I'm like, I'm gonna have to jump on. Hey, hold it. I'm getting in. Go on, do your dirty work and leave. I don't move over. Hello. What? Is it gonna stop sucking it? There we go. What the hell do you want? Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. An appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can be a whole lot more impudent than this. But this is for a great cause. And for a wealthy man such as yourself, a chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? To help finance a library in town. Just think of the prestige. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor... Mayor? <laughs> Maya is a crook. Me too. And I'm a real crook. I will not <laughs> All right. By you, sir. Intimidate Hector, fellas. I'm sorry. Was that? Yes. I would like to finance the library for the common good. My horse. I can't hear you! Come on! What was that? Ah! Please! Alright! Alright! Put him back there. There! See, that wasn't difficult. You know, they say it's better to give than to receive. And certainly in the case of a beating, I know that to be true. The mayor awaits your check, sir. Been a pleasure. There's a good man in there. There we go. You should let him live a little more. Driver! Hold up! Easy as can as be. You were. Move on! Alright, return to the mayor's house after dark again. Hello, girl. Alright. Let's go. So that went too bad actually. My under level is going up a lot more as well. I think maybe next Wednesday or Thursday I might do a live stream so I can get a lot of these missions that I've got on my log and around the map such as like bounties and I could also explore more of New Austin in the same live stream so I could do that on maybe like next when either next Wednesday or Thursday maybe Friday so I'll do that definitely so I can get a lot more done instead of instead of fitting them all in a video like this one but we need to go and see the mayor but we need to wait till dark so we'll just go to another saloon and we'll sleep there again so yeah I'll see you when it gets too dark we're gonna go and see Henry again so he wanted to meet us at, at dark so is in the same place obviously He's a lazy man. What would you expect? To the mayor. 
No. I didn't do anything bad then, did I? That's where you get for riding too fast, John. Alright, let's go and see him again. In fact, we'll stay in first person. I like first person. I feel like you can do so much more in first person than on GTA 5. I did like a, a little slide with the horse then. That would kind of cool. Alright. So I don't think I can go through the front entrance. So I have to go to the back again. But it's all good. Alright. I don't know how many more missions I need to do for the mayor. I think I only did one. Uh, with Arthur. And then I just did the second one just then. But this is going to be the third if we do do some more. Or even the cutscene. Oh, it's you. Come it's in. It's free look, as you can tell at the bottom. Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yeah? Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. Thank it's you. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Marston. I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... Go on. Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Uh, is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh. <laughs> I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant. Just tell me. We are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Where's that? I don't know where that is. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you, my good old sir. Go to the Jean Marcus Mark's house. I think I've heard that name, actually. I think I've already met this person. But yeah, let's go. I'm... I'm pretty sure this is the last mission that we do, yeah. It just said that it was, so, uh, yeah. It's only around the corner, across the street, so. It's not too far away at all. Yeah, once I've done this sad mission, that's all I'm, that's all that's gonna be in this video. So, helping the mayor out and also finding the robot, the creation of the scientists. And finishing it off so it doesn't cause any more trouble. So confront. Alright. You're having it. Why you want to say those awful things about me, buddy? Oh yeah, this is him. What man about? <laughs> Best not make a drama of things. Come on. Let's see your boss. This is gonna hurt. It's for the best. <sighs> That's why I've heard that name, because they were in the last mission and everything. The guy I've been speaking to a lot. Alright. <laughs> that went too much of a hard punch and it knocked him out, I guess, but let's go and take him back to the mayor's house. Oh shit, there's enemies around. Or should I just say police? Oh no. Are you kidding me? I've already been seen. How would I get seen so quick? Which way were I meant to go? The law was alerted. Alright. Let's go a different way this time instead of walking across the street like that. Uh, what's the best way of going? I don't even know. I can't even crouch with the body. Maybe I could go, I don't know. I got seen so easily. Got a 
reload the careful. Oh, there's a Ah! Oh my god, he's gonna see me. Please don't see me. Oh my god, how many? Can I get out of this bit? Can I? Is there. Oh, I didn't an entrance here is the going out. I'm gonna have to go all the way around. So that I, uh, they'll look. Oh, it's right next to him, god damn it. I'm gonna have to maybe take this police officer out, I don't know. Depends if they move or not. Oh, th there's no one here. Oh, they're gonna see me from down the street, aren't they? Go, 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 go. I'm gonna easily be seeing here. Oh, there's somewhere right there. Two right there. There's no more around here, is there? I don't think there is. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. No! Died in behind a bloody electrical thing. I forgot what it's called. Right, we're here. We're all good. I think. I'm guessing we're gonna go around the back again. Oh no, for, to the front. Very nice. I like how you sidewards as well when you've got a body. Oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, Jean-Marc, Jean-Marc, uh, I've missed you, I've missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Oh, Jean-Marc, can you hear me? Uh, where am I? Where am I? What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Romar. Thank the Lord. Can I go a bit fast? Here. Am I dropping his body? There we go. My brother, my brother, Romar. Oh, we've been so. Uh, I promised to change. I know. Ah, uh, what a silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We, we will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I'm the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh. How I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch. And a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir. I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you. <laughs> Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? Thought I might. But uh, all I did was love too much. Look, My duty. Did you run in your mouth? I'll leave you out of it. Friends and him. He'll and... betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lemieux is a foul rat, but I'm a man of my word. L let me live, and I'll, I'll, I'll destroy him, and I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on, please, please, come on. I'm sorry. There we go. <laughs> I'm not gonna let him live. Nowhere. If the mayor wants it happening, the mayor wants it happening. Is the mayor of Sandining? So don't dump his corpse in the water. All right. Uh, at the end, Decker.
Feed them to the alligators. There's alligators around here. We are close to the swamp area. We did <laughs> we did feed Brante to the alligators, so we could do the exact same. All right, let's dump his body. Goodbye. Yay. Oh, I, I went down a little bit with honor, but it's all right. I got a god for that. And there we go. There is his body. Very nice. Very lovely and nice. All right. I think that's the last mission, right? I think it is. Let's just have a look. Can we go inside and talk to him at all? I'm pretty sure he said we, we got payment for it, if we did kill him. So I'm just going to quickly see if, if that is right. If I can go inside, I don't know. Nah, maybe not. I don't know. Right, I'm just going to leave it here then. So we're done, we're done a little bit in this video. So if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.